If you're looking for glamorous, fierce, show-stopping pieces, look no further than the Blondes. David and Philippe have built their brand, creating over-the-top luxury pieces for A-listers and adventurous dressers alike. I love the Blondes. They always have such an incredible show. I really like pieces of art. They're the nicest two people you could ever meet, and their their imagination and their style is without boundaries. Everything's so over the top, it's so grand, it's about the glitz, it's about the fantasy, you know? We want to really inspire our clients and our customers to like have fun with fashion, experiment, you know, add a little color. The Blondes are pop culture fanatics, pulling their inspirations from film, television, music, the arts, and of course, their clients as well. The pop stars who wear our clothes, that's been incredible. Dressing them, getting to meet them, fitting them, listening to music before anyone else does, and going on tour. Things like that have inspired all of the blondes, so all the years that we've had. I think women in general inspire us all the time. Film, animation, you know, lots of different things. But definitely, you know, the spirit of women now. The blondes is about music, pop culture, Flash, trash, everything in between. It's campy, it's drag queens. They don't take themselves too seriously, yet they have a very serious business. The Blondes got their big break designing for major names in the entertainment industry, from Beyonce to Lady Gaga. It was their friend and fellow designer, Patricia Field, who encouraged them to start their own label back in 2007. The Blondes are family. I know them since they first came to New York and they came into my shop with jeans filled with seashells. And ever since, it hasn't stopped. I love the show business side of, of how they present. While they've stayed close to their roots in the entertainment industry, the designers also create more wearable pieces for the everyday customer. All of our clients have also asked for stuff that's more accessible. We really thought about our clients and we did a lot of things that were very wearable, like just long sleeve shirts, simple dresses, t-shirt dresses with a few crystals, something cute that you can just throw on and run out in. The Blondes even collaborated with Beach Bunny for a swimwear collection showcased at Miami Swim Week. We consider it sort of like it's couture swimwear. They've got all these great details. There's tons of amazing tailoring. The fit is exquisite. It makes all these girls look incredible. This duo proves that when it comes to fashion, there's no such thing as too much sparkle, shine, and glamour make things for people in general that want to make a statement. These clothes are special, they tell a story. You know, I don't think you should take yourself too seriously, but at the same time you have to work hard and be professional and, and be glamorous. Be, and be glamorous. And blonde yeah. at heart. <laughs>
the most fun show of all the shows. I only go to a couple shows during Fashion Week, especially during the winter because it's so cold, but I love the blondes. We wanted to do something different. Everything we always do, something very symmetrical every season. And this season, we kind of wanted to deconstruct everything, tear yes. it apart, change it up, you know? So it's very deconstructed glamour. Yes. It's violent glamour. Ultra glamour. Yes. look today at the blondes is inspired by Alice in Wonderland or more like the Queen of Hearts there's lots of reds and pinks in the makeup the look is um, very pink you know it's a high high ponytail at the height of a ballerina and um, the tail of it we decided to attach an, an extension of their favorite blonde and spray tons and tons of pink and we twisted it we spun it so it's um, kind of dreaded well, the inspiration is always revolving around our fascination with film and the directors that inspire us. So this season it was like Greg Araki meets, meets Marilyn Monroe meets, meets Alice in Wonderland meets. Yeah. If FKA Twigs and Miley Cyrus had a love child, that's what the beauty and the style would be for the show. Yeah. That was the whole inspiration. And Kabuki came up with these incredible nets of crystal. They were all done out of Preciosa crystal. We had incredible accessories this season from Majesty Black, yes. custom gloves, beautiful nails from CND that were literally using like Preciosa crystals everywhere. And we had like Louboutin boots that were all custom made. Everything was done completely like within the theme of the show and very pink. Oh my god, we used tons of Preciosa crystal, we used leather. What else did we use? I mean, we, we used, used so uh, many different materials neoprene, and techniques. printed neoprene. Yes. Um, it's like a huge mix. So whatever the theme or the look calls for, whatever it needs to like, you know, construct it or make it happen is what we use. The details on our uh, pieces are really intricate. There's like this one piece that's completely star embroidered, and you can't really see that from the runway, but if you take a really good look, every single star was hand stitched with a bead to seal that star, so it's pretty cool. I've always been such a fan of the blondes for years and years and years. It's almost like a little bit of couture in a week of ready to wear, so I love it. The person we designed for is a stage girl, but she's not shy. She isn't shy, she wants to be seen, she's always on the go, you know, in the hot lights, so. Well, it's not just for the girl who wears our clothes on stage or the girl who wears our clothes to go out at night. You know, we want to really inspire our clients and our customers to like have fun with fashion, experiment, you know, add a little color, you know, a little color, and have a good time. Cheers. always intricate beading and this year it's reptile with pearls tons and tons of it and we decided to go with an asymmetric French twist but rolling forward and because of all the reptile prints we're gelling it down and making all these little snake figures that just drape all over the forehead all these little creepy things that want to pull out that's what we're doing as a femme fatale and we're doing a smoky metallic glossy eye that's outstretched so it's almost like jeweled cobras linking down the runway. The blondes had this princess in mind, and her energy source and her weapons she found in her nails. And when the blondes saw the nails, they said, no rings, no bracelets, the nails are the jewels. The show's a little darker for the blondes. It's a different um, sort of mood. We're always inspired by cinema, different films, or huge film buffs. It's inspired by the reinterpretation of a film called The Mummy that's coming out this summer. It's going to be a modern classic horror film. The central character is this very strong, powerful female presence. So that's what we always try to emulate with our clothing and make our clients feel this way. It's all about finding your own power and working it.
Yeah. Yeah. And looking glamorous while doing it. We incorporate lots of pearls, lots of lace, shredded burnt lace, lots of preciosa stones. You will see lots of denim. Sort of the blondes meet street. So I think it's the first time we've done denim, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. I love David and Philippe. I've known them for the very beginning, and they're experts at corsets and theatrical and dramatic pieces, which I love, obviously. I feel a little Hitchcock thing going on here tonight. I feel like a little Melanie Daniels from The Birds, Tippi Hedren. I never miss the blondes if I'm in town and able to be here. I love them. It's always a fun time. I always love their collection. Everything is custom, one of a kind, and it's for women who are not afraid to stand out. You know, a lot of times when you go to shows, the finale look is the ones that's a showstopper with them. Every piece that comes out is a showstopper. I hope to see uh, lots of people wearing the blondes. There's a little bit in there for everyone. We're at the Blondes, and the look today is tropical inspired. It's a very dewy, lush look. And we have a gloss highlight on the cheekbone, kind of disco blush that wraps around because there's a big hibiscus flower, so it looks almost like light reflected off the flower. And then there's one little special detail where we use a holographic plastic cutout eyeliner, and it sort of blinks on the eye. It looks like a little hummingbird. The look is going to be very, very glossy, super shiny. We're using Orbe Hair Care, this pre-treatment shampoo. We're spraying lots of foundation mist, which is a healthy foundation mist based product. They're going to come out looking wet. Just imagine if you climbed out of this beautiful pool and the hair is really nice. It's like beautiful pool water hair, just glossy and shiny. Our inspiration this season was all around music. All of our favorite legendary artists, from Elvis to Tupac, the styling and the beauty aspects were sort of reminiscent of Sade. It was all legendary artists that we love. There was a reference to Michael Jackson, a reference to Prince. So we showed some new things tonight that were very wearable and separates something we don't typically do. That's something that we found really new and fun. It was fun doing separates with shorts, tube tops, you know, cute little jackets. Pants, which we haven't really done that much of. Interestingly enough, that's one of our signatures is to not have the girls in any pants. We wanted to be way more inclusive this season. This season was our first time having a curved girl, plus size girl in the show. My favorite collection, I love how vibrant all their clothes are. I really like the collection because it's very like cool and it's very, very, very cool. It's amazing. It's everything I wear, all the bling, all of the bedazzled stuff. That's the type of stuff I always wear when I'm performing, and if I could live in their clothes, I would. Our message is simple, that you can have fun with fashion, 
and we want everyone to feel like they can experiment, have a good time, and it doesn't matter what you're wearing, you can always wear the clothes, don't let them wear you. It's uh, good versus evil. The rebel and, uh, and the aristocratic of Daphne, the inspiration is Daphne Guinness, and she's phenomenal. She's just like cool rock and roll. I use something classic. I use a double French twist, and I just exaggerate it, and, and then pulled it a little bit more up and forward, and just like two huge rolls that kind of mimic a devil's horn. There's a couple of forms that we made that's underneath that, like some cushions and some newspaper, a little bit of foil. It's just kind of like this devilish horn that's just good versus evil. Angels and demons and is one way of looking at it. It's sort of a geometric, streamlined eye and an ombre eye and an ombre lip. And done in either gold or in red. So in red, it almost looks like a candy apple, you know, sort of a dripping with gloss in the center and then fading off into blackness. We utilize sculpting liquid and powder like you would make a sculpted nail out of it, nail gel, C&D shellac, which is our 14-day wear nail polish. But utilizing these everyday materials in extraordinary ways allows us to create real art and beholden it and befitting the runway. The starting point was a Lucifer Rising by Kenneth Anger, and uh, we had all different inspirations come from art, film, and animation. There was an animated character named Lady Death that we love so much, and our style icon for the season is Daphne Guinness. So you'll see a lot of the silhouette will be inspired by her. Everything from the beauty, hair, and makeup is inspired by her. There's like all different references. It's gonna have like this sort of clash of like hardware with like soft materials like lace, some signatures like crystal and spikes. So it'll be a great show, I think, in, in terms of like overall, like we're trying new things, but bringing back gold signatures as well. You have your light girls and you have your dark girls. Your your denim we incorporated with like white latex leathers. We collaborated with lots of amazing accessory designers like Majesty Black, which is one of my favorites, and Creepy Yeeha, who you will see like all these amazing harnesses tonight. And Planet One. Planet One, who made these amazing flame shades that I like completely adore. You will like love them too. rock star absolutely I mean in every sense of the word it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean it, it, it has to do with music it's just a rock star in general a person who's obviously not a wallflower someone who likes to have fun with fashion glamour we're glamorous and you should be too there you go I feel like the contemporary woman should think about it because I don't honestly believe that, you know, to be a feminist you have to dress in a conservative way. I think to be a feminist is to dress however you feel like dressing whenever you feel like wearing something, you know? I think you should still have a good time with fashion. If you want to be sexy, be sexy. And the whole point of being a feminist is to have your own choices, right? So make them. Yeah, there you go. Damn. That was good. This is going to be the first time Disney Villains introduces their new brand, which is Disney Villains. And we got the opportunity to translate that for New York Fashion Week and make a runway show out of this incredible theme. I mean, we've been inspired by the villains since we were kids, and like it's a full circle moment, really. We're at the Blondes, and the whole collection has been inspired by classic Disney villains. So we've got a lot of different characters being represented, like Maleficent and Ursula, and the Wicked Queen from Snow White. We're keeping a uniformity with the makeup. It's basically this design on everybody. 
but in different colorways. And it's really about the shape of the cat eye. It's got a little bit of a bitchy vibe about it, you know. It's, it doesn't wing up, it just goes straight out like a slash. Tonight you're gonna see lots of entrances, lots of finale looks, the whole entire show. You're gonna get to see that magical finale look every exit, so I think you have a lot to look at, a lot to see. We were looking for someone who really had an authentic connection to the content and really embraced what our Disney villains represent. And uh, the blondes were really our first choice. They have such a beautiful approach to powerful, compelling, dynamic design. I think that they bring glamour to everything that they do. So we, did, we loved the energy, the passion, the storytelling that they really put into the product. And so, so they would send us sketches. We would all squeal in delight at how gorgeous and over the top they were. Uh, and they've been wonderful partners to work with. I'm super excited. I mean, they've been friends for years. So it's actually cool that they're finally doing menswear and actually finally model for them is like super dope. Dr. Facilier, the Disney character from um, The Princess and the Frog. We also collaborate a lot with amazing people like Majesty Black, Creepy Yeehaw, Planet Eye, Heart of Bone for Christian jewelry, Louboutin. Christian Louboutin, because I mean, how could you not? The last cherry on the cake is the fingernails. We work with C&D and they create the most incredibly intricate, small, they're like little works of art and it really does help to complete the story yes. of every look. Um, we do everything from head to, head to toe. It's always custom made for that individual. The Blondes are an amazing, amazing brand and they're amazing, amazing people. I'm very happy that I get to sit here on the front like line watching all of this amazing work. Believe it or not, I used to work for the Blondes back in the day when I was like young and 19. And now I get to sit up here and like just like be so happy that I used to look up to them and still look up to them, so yeah. I wore the blondes at my Steven Mizell shoot. Um, I wore the blondes at Gay Pride. I wore the blondes to go out for a party. There's so much depth in all their designs. You know, it's like I can't stop staring at them. They're amazing. We love the element that all these villains have when they walk into a room. They have this element of smoke and flame. So we incorporated feathers, hand tied individual feathers to add almost the entire collection. There's lots of interesting special effects like yeah. that, but the newest thing we tried this season was to make something practical and something that almost anyone can get a piece of. Just the, how amazing their style is, like how they have the coolest wardrobe. It's their so the blondes, you know, and their personalities over the top, totally incredible. She's a total villain. She's a fashion villain. Yeah. She, she's not a wallflower. She likes to be in the spotlight. You know, all of our clients are sort of like that, whether they're public or private. They all want something special, unusual. Um, we do everything from head to toe. It's always custom made for that individual.